Hey, 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 hope all is well. I'm here to do a quick trade recap. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. I'm not gonna try to take up too much of your guys' time. Um, basically, what we're looking at here is, uh, you know, the trade that I took today, uh, 15 minutes into NYC open, I was done for the day. Uh, I'm gonna go over how I started my day, and this is a mandatory. This is how I start every day. Uh, I plot uh, all-time highs, uh, previous day high, uh, pre-market high, uh, pre-market low, previous day low, and weekly low. Those are how I like to start my day off. As the day go, as the day uh, starts to go, I uh, look more into the hourly levels. But uh, I'm not looking to trade all day. I'm looking to get one and done. And uh, these are the key levels that I have found. Um, if you're trying to get that one and done, these are the key levels that you need to focus on. Um, so let's go ahead and watch the uh, recap. Let's go ahead and watch the uh, live replay. I was able to screen record it. Um, I will commentate through it. Hope you guys enjoy. As you can see, I answered on the trade at uh, 8.36. That's... Uh, six minutes into um, New York session open after the first five minute candle pay attention that I have my spy levels right here on the bottom left but I am trading ES um, ES is a futures market and spy is cash they're both the S&P 500 so uh, another thing to pay attention to uh, is the 5 DMA and the 20 DMA those are uh, very, very vital resistance and support zones. Uh, uh, I use indicators. Indicators are um, lagging, I understand that. But I use them for key zones and key levels. I don't use them for signals. Uh, a lot of people that will talk bad on indicators are most of the time unprofitable or have no idea how to use the indicators. And today was a perfect example of how I use indicators and I'll talk more about it as the trade goes. So the trade is starting to go into profit here, right? I'm only in one contract now. The trade is starting to go into profit. We're approaching the uh, 5 DMA. Um, I didn't enter into a larger size because of the 5 DMA. I wanted to see what happens. Uh, there's two things that usually happens. It, we, we will either reject or we'll trigger off some cells, right? So that's why I put a sell stop at the 5 DMA and what it did is trigger some cells. So um, as soon as the trade started to go in my favor, I start to move, uh, I start to move uh, the stop loss into profit and continue to let the trade ride. Um, pay attention, uh, we broke the pre-market low. That was my signal to get in with, uh, with the other uh, confirmations. Nvidia is continuing to push down. Apple is trying to break here. Uh, if Apple breaks here, we'll continue to get another push. Uh, notice that I am still in the trade. Um, I, I'm moving my stops as the trade goes. Pay attention, we approached the 20 DMA. This is where I start to take profits because I'm respecting the levels. Well, <laughs> What happens is, um, you know, we broke the we broke the five DMA one shot. What's the likelihood of us breaking through the twenty DMA in one shot? Uh, very slim. So what I like to do is stay safe, right? Stay safe and uh, you know take my majority of my profits, put a tight stop, and kind of watch. You know, I'll be ready if it if it breaks, I'll be entering and uh, use the twenty DMA as a uh, resistance now um, but as you can see that's that's my trade um, <laughs> I was done for the day uh, looks like I was done for the day at um, 8:45. Um, you know that's it 15 minutes into the market I stayed disciplined I stuck to my rules I continue to move my stop and these are the type of trades I take every day every day every day every day uh, using the 9 EMA to guide me, using my key zones, uh, using volume, using uh, you know uh, the major stocks like Nvidia, Apple, uh, NQ, Microsoft, and uh, charting on SPY and trading ES, and that's 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 what I do, guys. That's what I do, um, and that's how I trade. I've been trading like that for years. Um, you know, let's 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 look at this. Um, so, 
here we go. I entered on the break, you know, didn't get greedy. Um, took some profits here. Uh, clean break below the 90 EMA, clean break below pre-market low. What else could you ask for? This is where I entered uh, at um, 836. Uh, entered off of uh, off of a pre-market low. Um, I was using, I believe, uh, when I entered the pilot, I was using this zone above us as a stop loss, and I continued to add into my trade as the trade started to go down. Um, here is the trade. This is what the trade looks like. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, entered at and then exited at the bottom and uh, just respecting the levels, respecting the levels. And uh, one and done was the deal. Um, you know, I uh, entered, uh, took my trade, followed my bias, stuck to my rules, stayed disciplined. Um, and I even had my son with me, my three month old son. Uh, what's your excuse? What's your excuse for today? Uh, 15 minutes, that's all it took me. Uh, 15 minutes into the open now was done and this is what I do every day one and done sometimes it takes longer sometimes you know this is one of the quickest ones you know what I mean it's not like this every day but uh, you know I hold myself to a two-hour standard and after that two hours uh, if there's no trade or if I'm red I'm done uh, but this week so far flawless victory green week uh, good week um, I'm hoping everyone had a good week as well. I'll catch you guys soon. I hope you guys have a good day.